Hey, it's uh, Tim Sway here. Uh -huh, there's my business card. You can tell it's me. I've been making these wooden business card holders for a long time out of reclaimed wood. And uh, I have other videos or another video about it that you could watch. I'll put a link below. Uh, but I have this new technology now in my shop with uh, the Vectric software and the CNC machine. So I thought I would try to do it a little bit differently. Um, the piece of wood that I was using, because again, I make these out of scraps, basically. The piece of wood I was using wasn't quite tall enough. But basically the idea was if I, if I cut two halves out of a piece of wood and then clamshelled them together, I would have my business card holder instead of the other way where I'd actually build a six-sided box. The piece of wood that I had wasn't quite tall enough to get the entire card in and then have enough material on either side for a top and bottom. So what I did is I cut out a pocket with an opening on the top and then later I'm going to glue a piece of wood over that top and then cut it open. So this system could actually be even easier. You just basically make a hole that's two by three and a half inches. I made it a little bit oversized for the card and cut it out of the wood. So now that I have it out, uh, this is some reclaimed uh, Ernestina white oak from that boat that I've made a lot of videos about. I'm just using a uh, gouge, a, a square angle gouge to clean up the edges where the, the router left a little bit of shavings and a chisel to clean up the corners because I had rounded over the corners. Um, so I cut those two pieces out and I wanted to make sure they were nice and flush to fit together uh, because I had never processed this wood. It was just a cutoff from something else I was doing. So I look and I see, oh, they're pretty tight, but not good enough. I have my trusty piece of granite here, so I was able to just sand those and get a better fit before gluing. Of course, it would be nice if this was all one solid piece. I would be able to skip the next step. But uh, I'm just making do with what I have. So here I am cutting another piece of scrap down to make a top to go on to the box. And again, I want to make sure that's sanded nice and smooth so I can get good adhesion. And simply clamp that on and let it dry. So that's pretty much all there is to it, except for the part of making it open and hinge. Now it's not quite square, so I just sort of squared it out on a belt sander. Um, not a finished sanding by any means, just make sure it's all nice and even and all the uh, rough edges are, are cleaned up. And then this one, I since I have the CNC, I, I put the, the gentleman's initials in Hebrew um, on the case for him, which I thought was a nice touch. Typical spray paint thing. I had a lot of spray paint on there, so I figured to save some sanding, I'd wipe it off as a mineral spirits. Um, do a little more sanding. Uh, I, I've been into using blades for rounding edges instead of routers lately. I think it's a little bit nicer and rather than doing it by hand, but um, now I'm getting a little more into the finer sanding. Still not all the way. What I like to do with these business card holders that makes them different than most is I don't cut the top straight. Uh, I cut a slight curve. I have like a, you know, a shape to it. So that's sort of my thing. I thought it'd be funny to leave one of my business cards in there <laughs> when I when I glued it up so it would come out when I cut it open. And it, it was funny for me. I don't know if you think it is. So now, I again, I just clean up that edge. And this is the, the hardest part of this build is I want to line up where I'm going to use uh, very strong rare earth magnets, quarter inch rare earth magnets to make the top and bottom stick together. That's what makes it cool. So I just put a little dab of paint in two spots and very carefully put it together and then I was able to line it up drill out those holes and I'm still looking for a better way to do this because uh, it's tough without it, the flat surfaces. So I drilled a couple little quarter inch by quarter inch holes, a little bit of epoxy. Uh, you want to make sure that you don't mess up the magnets orders so I keep them all stuck together. I stick them in and I leave like the two that are going to stick together in one half. I put the other half on top and then I slide them off to make sure I have the direction right. That's what was just happening there. A um, little bit of fine sanding and uh, that's pretty much it. This one I finished with a uh, a wipe on poly that I made for another project that had a little bit left over. Usually I use shellac or something, but I just happen to have that. And uh, that's another way you can make these wooden business card holders. Worked pretty well. Uh, it was a lot easier than the old way. And like I said, I'll put a link uh, so you can check that out if you're interested, if you don't have a CNC and you can see how I did that. And there's, I mean, there's a million ways you could do that, but that's what's so fun about making things is discovering new ways to, to do old things and uh, continuing to up your game and, and experiment and create. So that's why I'm sharing this video. Even though it's a build I've done before, it's a completely different build in a lot of ways too. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.